In this video, we're going to look at the Pro Tools edit modes. There are four edit modes in Pro Tools, Shuffle, Slip, Spot, and Grid. You can select the edit mode in the upper left corner of the edit window. You can also use function keys F1 through F4 to select them. First, let's look at Shuffle mode. In Shuffle mode, clip movement is constrained by the position of other clips on the track. For example, when I move this blue clip, it's going to automatically snap to the boundaries of the other clips on the track. Another important thing to understand about shuffle mode is that if I delete a clip, all subsequent clips on the track will be shuffled earlier in time by the duration of the clip that I deleted. For example, if I click on this green clip and click delete, you'll see that the blue clip will shuffle earlier in time to fill the gap. The next mode we're going to look at is slip mode. And slip is one of the most common modes to work with in Pro Tools. In this mode, you'll see that I can move clips freely, including placing them on top of existing clips. You'll also see that unlike shuffle mode, if I select a clip and delete it, the other clips on the track are not impacted. Spot mode allows you to move clips to exact locations using the spot dialog box. I simply click on a clip, and the spot dialog appears and I can enter the start, sync point, or end point or the destination where I would like to move the clip. Our final mode, grid mode, is similar to slip mode except that it constrains clip movement to the nearest grid interval as specified by the grid value in the edit window toolbar. For example, here I have my grid value set to one bar. So when I try to move this blue clip, I'll only be able to place it exactly on bar lines. Grid mode actually has two options, absolute grid and relative grid. We'll discuss these options in a future video.